Hello everyone, I am Veos, and welcome back to another video and all the foam. I'm sorry, these look like a bunch of little faces looking at me right now. And they're mad. <clears throat> That's... Oh my gosh, they're following me. So I was looking at some pictures online about the Pathfinder, and apparently the... <clears throat> am I losing my voice? Apparently the rover actually kind of, like, the computer the computer core was smushed to one side, and the rover filled in the gap. So that's what we're going to try to do. Yeah, kind of like that. The computer core was on one side, and the rover was on the other. Someone in the comments said that uh, you could... You could flip yourself around with the communications, communi communitron. Last time I checked, the hitbox only stopped to like right here. The white and red bits right here don't have any collision mesh whatsoever and they will go through an object. I could be wrong. Maybe they changed that. If that's the case, we definitely need to test that out. Now in the original rover or the original uh, Pathfinder design, uh, they weren't true triangles, of course. They were chopped off near the ends. And unfortunately, uh, we can't really do that. I mean, one of these days, I really want to sit down and do like a full blown replica. It might be kind of hard. We might have to put some mods into it when it comes to the balloons. Although, maybe I could use fairings to pretend to be balloons or something like that. I don't know. Uh, um, oh, fairings would work beautifully because you could turn them into... You could turn them into confetti and just make them disappear. Hmm. Okay, well, that will have to be for another day. That will definitely have to be for another day. Right now, I just want to build something small, tiny, and cute. I don't know. That fairing thing really sounds good now. No, too much. Too much, too little time. Too much, too little time. We're just building a uh, kind of a little tiny micro version of this thing. I'm making it white because the little computer core and the JPL version had uh, like a, a white coat on it. Not too sure how to make this work. Definitely going to give it a shot though. Uh, maybe not. Okay. Sort of. Kind of. That looks horrible. <laughs> mm, might just have to do. Just have to suck it up. Okay, that doesn't look too horrific. I'm being nice. M. It's an M. Or W. Could be Wayne Enterprises. Or Waylon Utani. Oh dear. <laughs> Never have enough. America. Whoa. Ha. <laughs> uh huh. Hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. I didn't. I didn't. I, didn't uh, I mean, Kerbal Space Program, right? So it's not exactly going to be perfect. <laughs> Even the light scanning arm is way too big for our rover. I mean, our rover has to be useful. I mean, yeah, of course, this is all just for looks. But it's got to be useful, right? So I think what I'll do is actually going to put all the little gizmos up here. And I'm going to put this surface scanning module for ore inside the rover since the rover can move around. Makes sense, right? Right? Say right. Something like that? Kind of? Maybe? That is the most clipped rover. I've ever done ever in my life and apparently the communication thing was up front like up here from what I've seen in the pictures so oh, we need to add uh need to add some more wheels on no actually that's that's a lot that's hmm that's as good as we're gonna get huh someone was talking about adding another set of wheels I mean I'm just trying to make the little guy move it's it, it, the actual rover in Pathfinder never really left the area from what I understand it stayed within its little mothership it might have gone out here and, and around and stuff but other than that it kind of stayed within the mothership's range I say mothership but you know base camp I guess you could say can try to smooth it out a little bit so what I'll do is I'll do this but I'm going to do that right about here. That. Bring that in. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. It's a little crooked though. Alright. Okay. Now let's do a real quick test. Make sure it all fits in there. Uh, barely. Raise this up just a pinch. It'll be a nice tight squeeze. Alright. A little bit of clipping with the that. But it's fine. I'll accept a little bit of clipping. Definitely a tight squeeze. Alright. Okay. Still no clue on how I'm going to do the ramp system, but I'll figure that out later. Let's put some solar panels on here. Oh, nice. I can use these. I'm trying to lower park count. Let me see if I can do it. Hmm. I want to make sure they're just right before I cut symmetry with these guys and pull them off. Wait. Let me check real quick. Okay. Well, apparently there were solar panels on every single one of these things. And the rover just kind of had like a little pathway over them on this side. Hmm. We'll make it work. 
Eh, 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 it'll be all right. It'll be fine. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. We're all good here. How are you? The question is, will it survive the landing? I don't know. Now, in the actual rover, the ramps were rolled up and then they kind of spat out like tongues. We don't have that capability, so we're going to have to be creative and come up with something. I mean, I had an idea of having something underneath that would slide out and then tilt downwards, but that would require robotic parts that weren't ginormous. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that'll work. Hmm. Hold on now. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. What do we have here? I know it's not exactly the 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 best flag texture, but it's all I got right now. Oh uh, no. Wait. Hold on. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe like. Maybe like this. Maybe. Okay. So technically it would. Oops. Okay. So technically it would come out. Oh boy. <laughs> Doesn't exactly go all the way, does it? And then this would go down. Shoot. Oh boy, it looks like we're gonna have to use the other one. This ought to be good. All right. So it extends out to about here. And then this drops uh, about there. It's a good angle ish. Okay. This would be underneath, though. Not too much underneath. Okay, and this would roll back in. Huh, that, that works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and flip it around. Whoa! What is it? Is it pooping it out or something? No, it's somehow... Oh, I know what... Okay, I think I know what's going on. It. I attached it I attached it to the wrong... Yeah. Yep, there it is. Got it on the wrong thing. Well, poop. Okay, we'll put it on... Make sure it's on this thing. Alright, you're working now? Yep, looks all good. One thing I wanted to change, though, was the angle of these things. Uh, so I can get some more protection. No, I don't think I'm gonna be able to use that. I'm gonna have to do this individually, aren't I? I'm trying to separate them out a little bit more so they give the craft a little bit more protection. All right, so they're a little bit more spread out. Not sure if that's actually going to do anything. I'm thinking of, uh, I'm actually going to lock these up here. If I remember correctly, can't you change these struts now to, like, breakable and non-breakable or something like that? I think that's breakable. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll have to test it out. All right, let's do this. Nothing's exploding. That's a good sign. Let's try vessel mover, see if it bugs out on us. And drop. Hmm, the aerodynamics definitely has changed on it. Interesting. We'll have to check out. I thought this. I thought the center of mass was down here. Apparently not. And cut shoot. Okay, here's a good example. This is the bottom half of it. Let's go ahead and uh, open it up. Oh wait, we can't open it up yet. We gotta pop the top. All right? How's that work? Disconnect. Oh crap! Whoa, that that just popped open, didn't it? I'll have to be careful in the future. All right, and now we let go of these things. There we go, just find your spot. That's right, I had to roll right off. Yep, there you go, sort of. Just roll right off, or not, hold on, kaplunk. Okay, good, so that's all rolled off. We hit the number two key, I believe. Oh boy, so those went down a little harder than I would have liked. Maybe next time we'll bring it all the way down to the T. Now it's the three key. Ah. I'm kind of geeking out. That's sort of, that's kind of cool. That's on, that's on the cool side of things, okay? I'm a little geeking out here. Okay, let's click him. And I believe it's number one to turn on the engine. And then we're just going to move forward with the shift, All right? How's our power? Power's good. I thought it was the one key. Is it a zero key? I think it's a zero. Yeah, there we go. Uh, come on, you little guy. Oh, I don't have a way to control this thing. Oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> okay, uh, for, for the... Hold on, wait a minute, what? Extend. Nope, I didn't think so. All right, never mind. For a second there, I thought uh, I thought the, 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 the person that commented about that had something going there, but nope. That's a no. That's a nope, nope, nobody no. It's gonna need a reaction wheel if it wants to do any kind of steering whatsoever. Wow, that reaction wheel's huge. How small did I make this thing? That reaction wheel is, it, it's ginormous. Man, I don't think I can make this sucker fit in there. I mean, it's doable, maybe. <laughs> oh boy, at this point, I think it's obvious I'm a little desperate. Painfully obvious. Mm. Now, I do know that one side was a little bigger than the other. Uh, it, it kind of looked like this. And it did kind of overlap it just a bit. Almost like it was uh, wearing a hat. <laughs> um, okay, Let's see how well it fits in there. Uh, uh, not that bad. It's up close to it. 
but it's not that bad. You might have to bring it up a pinch. Kind of make clearance for this. Squeeze is in there pretty good. Bring that in just a little bit. Not too much. All right, now let's lock it up. One more test. All right, this time I'm going to test it somewhere hilly. Matter of fact, let's test it somewhere more desert. Should have done this a while ago. Okay, this is Mars-ish, right? Eh. Okay, anyway, drop it. Let's go. Interesting how it points downwards like that. Actually, not really. It doesn't seem to know where it wants to go. It's almost like if all sides are equal or something of that nature. Hmm. We're slowing down. As we get closer, we're actually slowing down, so there's no aerodynamic whatever. It's just a big, giant fluff ball of drag, basically. And cut, shoot. Ooh, that seemed kind of hard. I don't know. That seemed kind of hard. <laughs> That's kind of a hard hit. Uh, I think some things are broken. Let's disconnect and open her up right after I do this. Okay, well that's not working. I really wish there was a way to replace these balls. There's too many space balls around here. If I fast forward, am I gonna die? Hold on, let me hit F5, just in case. That sort of worked. There's gotta be a way to get rid of these space balls. I'm almost half tempted to put little separatrons on them. That might be better. And you know, the separatrons will be set on low power, so it's not like they'll be like explosive or anything. They'll just kind of start moving away, or perhaps even explode. All right, let's do this real quick. Number two, there it goes. And they're going down gently. Okay, need to be a little higher. And then number three, hey, where are you going? Are you moving already? Okay, you better not. Oh my gosh, whoa, hey. Oh, uh, who? Okay, good, All right. Number zero turns on the power. Let's go for a little spin. Uh-huh, that's right. Uh, da -da, da -da, oh, da -da -da. <laughs> that's cool, all right, okay, we're moving, we're moving. Trying to move anyway. Might need to put the tire down a little bit more. I mean, in all reality, that's a, that's that's about as fast as the actual thing moved, right? In, 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 in real life, <laughs> it's about as fast as it moved. We need to bring it down just a little bit. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Cool, all right, sweetness, nice. Great job, everyone. Um, we've got a lot to work on still, but it's coming together. This little mini Pathfinder thing is really coming together. I like it. It's adorable. It's cute. And then, uh, yeah, just need to do something about those space balls. All right. Love you all. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.